This is that beige precedent I started a video on Friday. Um, we've taken the body off. See the body laying up on top of that car. We've actually uh, just installed a new motor on it. New fast high speed motor. We've rebuilt the entire front end over the weekend. Can't see it, but they've got all new bushings on there. It's lubed, it's uh, aligned. We replaced, we replaced the headlight with an LED light. We installed the bucket harness. It's got the new batteries already. We started installing the turn signals. Just hanging, so, uh, and we're gonna put a back seat on this. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm gonna continue breaking this down. I'm gonna take this front cowl off. I'm gonna take this brow off because it's got uh, scuff marks somewhere. Right here, it's got a big dent in there and we sold this cart, so I'm gonna replace that. And I uh, just put the red body out there in the sun to warm up to make it a little more flexible when we put it on because it's a little bit cool here this morning. So right now I'm going to uh, turn this off and pull some of these uh, fender skirts off here. And I think I may be replacing those too, but I'm gonna tidy up the wiring, close up some of the stuff and uh, hopefully get to where we can show you how to put a back seat on this thing. What I wanted to show you was, I was going to replace this brow because it was uh, scuffed up. Someone will see it. Anyway, that's the old one. I should have showed you. I took this entire thing off, this whole cowl, in order to replace this. Now, to get it off, first of all, there's four T20 Torx screws that go in the brow, which is this piece beauty piece that covers up that and holds the front piece on this is what it looks like this is a different part I'm just showing you so you take those four screws out then you just grab the the body and it comes right off and once you pull that body piece off this is what you see this is what's underneath now this sits on here and what I did let me back up. In order to get this brow off, there's five screws that come in from the bottom underneath the cart. They're T20 torques also, so you gotta lay on the floor, undo those five, okay? Then come up here and then do one in each corner of this apron, one there and one there. Now, I think I've told you, um, it's hard for me to get down on the floor because I have these two knees that are fake, can't kneel down. So it was easier for me to just undo those two corner screws and muscle this whole assembly out. Now, I'm gonna turn it upside down. There's those five screws, One, see them? So I'm gonna undo those five screws I'm going to pull that brow off and then I'm going to install, I got a brand new one over here. This is what a new one looks like before we put down here on the floor. That's what the brow assembly looks like. See in the corner it's got the two, those are the two loops that those two screws in the corners of the apron go through. This is the top side. Where, the, where those screws thread in from underneath. You can see they're plastic, so you don't want to overdo it. They are strippable. So I'm gonna undo those five bolts, take that off. I'm gonna put this new one on, then I'm gonna put it back on there. Well, while I had this off, I went ahead and painted the inside of this tray back here just because it was faded and uh, I used some of the satin paint that made it look really nice. It's gonna be dark in there anyway, but it's just something to beauty it up a little bit. Okay, so let's put this brow on. Okay, I just got done putting this new brow on in the cowl and I got it all bolted back together, the two 
corner screws. That's one in that corner. That's one in that corner. Got the brand new brow on it. So I'm getting ready to put the uh, skin on it, the new skin, which is going to be this bright fire engine red one. So what I have to do is pull all this paper off of it that comes so it doesn't get scratched. And then we're going to try to put this thing on. I'm going to put this off with one hand for you. Okay, just pulled the plastic off of it. And this is the new skin. I'm going to try to pick this up and show you how it drops on here. I'm going to put it in there. And if you notice down here, there's like little teeth on them that, there's one that goes down inside the bumper there's teeth like this you come over here okay i think i've pretty much got this one set in there now it is okay this one's down See how it fits down in there real nice and neat. Comes up over here. It sits down in here. And this is what it's going to look like when I'm done. See how pretty that is? And, uh, oh, you can see I got a little tooth out here. So I've got to push down on it. So now I'm going to put that brow back on there. Remember I was telling you about that brow I took off? That What that brow does is it keeps this body from flying off. So I'm going to put that on now. Then I'll show you what it looks like. This is the brow over here. So I'm going to lift it over there. Get it started down in that hole like that. Now I'm going to have to play with it so it'll fit over there. So just got the brow put on with them four screws. That's what it looks like. And look how pretty this brand new red body is. Get back here. It's kind of dark in here. But when we're done, I will actually put a club car uh, emblem right here. We'll throw a little pinstriping on here. And... Uh, this will be a bright red cart and looking beautiful when we're done with it with a back seat. So, I think next, I'm not sure what I'll do. I may start putting the back seat on now. This is the Magix rear flip seat we're going to be putting on this red cart. Just wanted to show you as I'm opening it what it looks like. It's got the cushions in here. Two vinyl cushions and all these parts. So I'm going to uncrate all this stuff, separate it, and then we're going to consider putting it on that cart. Okay, uncrated this entire back seat. Uh, here's the directions. Again, it's a Magic seat. Um, we've installed so many of these. We really don't need the directions but I wanted to show you before I get into it all the bags are numbered it's pretty easy you go by step by step step number six it tells you what to do which bag of hardware to use um, for some reason we always end up with this bag of parts have no idea what it's for we always it's not numbered it's not on the drawing and we've probably got ten of them but um, I opened up I un took everything out of the plastic uh, well, I got parts spread out all over the shop just to make it easy for me. So I'm going to start assembling this thing, but uh, see here's all these black parts with parts to it. There's a floor floorboard to it. Here's the main body to the back seat, which is real heavy. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting this thing on. Uh, you don't tighten anything till the very end. Uh, the first thing you do is you put these two legs that go through these two holes. Uh, this video is not to show you how to put the 
back seat on. It's kind of like the transformation of this whole cart. So I'm going to put this down and get to work on this and then uh, come back and show you some progress. Okay, I just wanted to show you, um, haven't tightened anything up, but I pretty much got this thing, all the bolts uh, other than the seat and the uh, handles put together. Um, drains, roof supports, bolts to that. See, all this stuff is loose because you, you tighten it up last. But uh, when I get done, this is what the seat's going to look like. So you got to make sure you use the right bolt here, so this flat head, so the seat doesn't get caught on it. Um, anyway, I wanted to at least film this before I go any farther. Uh, you don't need to see me tighten that stuff up, but. I think at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put the body on here. I didn't put the body on first because I didn't want to scratch it up, but the battery, the body goes on real easy. You just put it over that. Uh, you kind of spring it around the, uh, the fender and it sits down in this groove. And then there's a groove over here by the tail ice. Let me see. See that groove on the side of the right in here? It snaps in there, it pops down and sits down inside this underbody. Pretty cool, but it looks like it's time for me to put that on. And uh, I gotta thread those wires through the hole. Um, but anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then uh, I'll take a picture of it with the new body on it. I just strung the tail light harness. That's this whip right here went through this and it's just laying you can see it's just laying in there right now on both sides so we can grab this after we get the body on this is the other side again just laying in there through this hole and uh, this is what the part looks like before I slap the body on it um, we'll put the body on, then once it's on and all bolted down, the last thing we do is we drill the holes for the tail lights. They'll get tail lights like this on it. So, I've had this thing sitting in the sun most of the morning. Let me pull the sheet off of it. Show you how pretty it is. Okay, there's the body. Real pretty, I gotta pull all of this paper off this packing and stuff but once I do you'll see how pretty this thing is so I'm going to pull all of that off and then I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to drop it on that cart okay I got this red body finally seated all in check it out see how pretty it is see how it sits right down in this groove sits down in this groove behind it's got four bolts in the corners right here got it all sitting down in the uh, tow cook area so let me back up and see if you can see a full shot I mean, this thing is going to be a nice looking cart brand new brow brand new body brand new seats we got upholster seats we got everything so um in the front here, I got to put the uh, forward reverse switch back in. Um, hook up the wiring harness. And put the floor back together. Put the roof on it. And uh, we're going to have us a good looking cart here when I get done. I'm going to clean these wheels up some. So um, I already showed you another video how to cut those rear lights with a one inch hole saw I'll be doing that and then fishing those wires out and hooking them up and uh, almost gonna be able to button this thing up we got to put seat belts on it the turn signals we've already put on it got the beauty ring on the column that's all wired in so we're getting close on this thing we're supposed to deliver it in two days so shouldn't be a problem unless I get a bunch of distractions this is that cart that uh, we started with the video um, that we put in all this rear seat and all this lights, new body, and we did some pinstriping to it. 
put a little sunshade band on it, brow they call it. Put a Cub Claw emblem on it. I mean, the cart looks beautiful. We're about to turn this over tomorrow, but I've got a couple more things. Got to put the windshield on, got to put the seats. We got some upholstered seats. But uh, I wanted to show you how to attach this bag, a golf bag attachment, if you have a rear seat set up. This is kind of a universal one. Put it right here. This is what it looks like. Let me get from the side. It's a bar that goes across the handles. See this? And it sits down inside like that. It sits down inside. It's got the bag attachment to it, which we'll be threading this webbing through here so it's ready. Once we get the webbing in there, we gotta drill two holes in the handrails. There's some welded nuts on here with threads in them. It comes with two thumb screws. These are the thumb screws right here. There's two of those. So once we drill these holes, I got them all lined up and marked. We'll run them thumb screws from the outside in and that hold, and that holds it in place. You put your golf bags on there and there's a strap that goes around that comes with it. It looks like this. This strap here, what this does, it goes behind those two legs of the seat. You wrap around there and then you wrap around the bottom of your golf bags and tighten it up and that keeps the golf bags from sliding out. But anyway, that's a pretty cool little thing. We sell those, I don't know how much we sell them for, about 85 bucks I think. But anyway, it's very cool and they can just pull it off and put it in a corner when they're not using it. So. They like it, it doesn't rattle like all that other contraptions crap that hangs off the end. So just wanted to show you that. And hopefully I'll take another picture of this tomorrow after I get the seats on it. Finally finished with this cart. This is the one that used to be beige. Put a brand new body on it. Put the rear seat on it, flip seat. Got the golf bag attachment. Did pinstriping, new upholstery, side mirrors, wink mirror, LED lights, club car emblem, pinstriping on the front. Put a fast motor on it. This card is beautiful, so. This particular one, we did all this to, and we just sold this for five grand. Beautiful, isn't it? So that's it for this uh, transformation video. I just wanted you to see uh, what it looked like before with the one seat and the tan body, or beige body, and now it looks like this. So I'm getting ready to load it on the trailer over there, and we're gonna go deliver it. So um, subscribe to our channel, email us, Wayne's Golf Carts at gmail.com. Send us a, a comment, give us a thumbs up, tell us you want to see a video on, and we'll try to make you one.